Hi everybody, uh, Mike and Mary here near Jackson Hole. So Jackson, the town of Jackson is just to my left here, just a couple miles down the road. It's called Jackson Hole because that's the valley that sits in. And if you look behind me, you see a huge open valley. This is the National Elk Refuge. And in the winter time, six to 8,000 elk can be seen in this refuge. So there's a huge fence along the edge, obviously to help try to keep them inside the refuge, but they have a huge, they have hundreds and hundreds of acres where they can range and wander around. So that is across the street from the National Museum of Wildlife Art. And this museum's been here quite a while. When we were here the last time it was here, but we didn't have a chance to come in. If you're in this area, take the time to come into this museum. It's incredible. It has so much more in it than you would expect to have in it. Mike's going to pan around and you'll see the structure of the building. They really built it into the side of the mountain so it's not it doesn't stand out super strong. But inside is basically any kind of art on wildlife. So the different artists from Germany, from Africa, my two favorite artists, Albert Beardstadt and Thomas Moran, also have art featured in here. Uh, just a lot of local artists are featured. Uh, there's a gentleman, Tucker Scott, who actually did a huge painting of what's across the road here in the winter with elk in the scene. So just absolutely incredible paintings, sketchings, and statues. And speaking of bronze statues, take a look at this one that's out front. So this is called the Buffalo Trail. It was made in 2012. And this is just an example of the kind of statues that you see here. All along the outside of the museum is a sculpture path that you can walk and you see bronze statues of wildlife. And then inside the museum there's display cases that also show smaller versions or smaller bronze statues. So intermixed in with the art. So there's also a restaurant in the museum. and. So if you're in this area, it's a beautiful place to stop and see. They've been, uh, they've been redoing kind of the hillside behind. So in 2019, lightning hit the hillside and caught it on fire. And the fire was headed to the museum. And so firefighters were trying to fight the fire. They had already started to evacuate stuff out of the museum when Mother Nature started to rain and it put out the fire. And then as soon as the fire was out, they had a double rainbow appear over the museum. So clearly somebody was looking out for the museum so that all this amazing art wouldn't catch on fire. But they are replanting the hillside to be native. There's a lot of the grasses and stuff you see around here are not native to the area. So they're choking out the native plants. And so we talked to two ladies earlier who were gardening out here. They're trying to remove the stuff that's not native so that the native plants can survive. And that's what they're doing up on the hillside as well. They're replanting it with sage, which is native to the area. And so this is uh, the National Museum of Art outside Jackson. So if you ever get an opportunity to come here, it's a beautiful place to stop and visit. Thanks, everybody.